One of the terms from linear algebra that will be used a lot in quantum mechanics is the idea of basis. Frequently we're going to be talking about changing our basis or knowing what basis a matrix representation or an, or an operator is, is occurring within. So we have to define a little bit about what a basis means. And very simply, we have to think about a very specific vector space. So a basis is always going to be for a specific vector space, and it's going to be a collection of vectors. This collection of vectors means that the vectors themselves need to be linearly independent, and they need to span the vector space V. So I'll give you some more concrete examples of what this means. So when we think about our vector space, we can represent this in terms of our column vectors. And so, for instance, maybe we have a two-dimensional uh, vector, or sorry, a two, two elements. So we would then need to have two vectors to span this space. If our vector space is comprised of vectors that look like this, we would in fact need three vectors to span the space. So in general, when we're talking about vectors, the number of elements is going to tell you how many basis vectors there are. Now, what does it mean for them to be linearly independent? So it means that there is not a way to express V1 as a scalar multiple of V2. So that's not possible. Now, where this gets more complicated is when we have multiple uh, vectors. So for instance, in this case, it's not possible to express it in terms of a scalar multiple of V2 plus V3. So this is a really concrete example of what this looks like. And oftentimes, what your basis vectors are going to look like are things like this. Or over here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So oftentimes when we're working in, uh, in our basis, this is what our basis vectors look like. And so you can see that there's no way to create 1, 0 out of 0, 1 by just like multiplying it by a scalar. So now what does it mean for it to span? Now this is where we have to, to think um, more broadly and again I'm going to be using kind of concrete physics examples from quantum mechanics and again mathematically this is broader than I'm presenting but span means that for any vector in our space any one whatsoever if I think about this as a, for instance our two-dimensional space that there is a way to make it by a scalar times one basis vector plus a potentially different scalar times that basis vector. So we can do this for anything. And so in general, as you have more and more dimensions, you're just adding on more and more terms. Now it's possible that some of these are zero, it's possible that some of these numbers are bigger than one, less than one, complex, that's all fine. The key is that we can make any vector we want out of a sum. And now if we look at, at this first case here, if I have a general vector that's two elements, then obviously this is going to just be variable a times one zero plus variable b zero one. So anything that has two entries like this can be made out of a sum of these two. But it doesn't ha you don't have to use these basis vectors. So something that's key to know is that this is going to be our simplest choice and there's going to be physical interpretations of using these basis vectors, but you can in fact use other basis vectors. It doesn't have to be this set. Um, but so you're always going to have a set of vectors that do this, and you can have more than one. Now, the third thing that we're normally going to do, which is not um, required from a mathematical point of view, but we normally want an orthonormal. Orthonormal. So this ortho part is that um, orthogonal, so kind of that uh, linearly independent to the extreme such that any two vectors have kind of zero overlap. And normal means that when you take any of their magnitudes, it equals to one. So we want them to be perpendicular to one another, 
and have a length of 1. And this is again going to be a good choice for the physics. In, in general, mathematically, it doesn't have to be true, but our good choices of basis will have this be true.